sphere. And in that sphere, actually, there is a banding um, so that the top and the bottom have a linkage, right? Just like the circumference of a circle. Uh, 360 degrees and 180 on the bottom represents one concentric circle or ring. Then when you go in, you get the, the inner chakras. Mm -hmm. And so from thinking that way, then I could see, okay, they fit very well. And actually, in the understanding of the chakras, the significance of these uh, bands, each pole of the band fits very well. So Ra says that the seventh chakra is basically um, our infinite nature, or the access to infinity, mm -hmm. complete enlightenment, uh, Buddha, and uh, intelligent, uh, intelligent infinity. Mm -hmm. before intelligent energy. So the really, you know, the summit, complete and perfect, or Satchit Ananda. Mm -hmm. And that's beyond personal consciousness. The first chakra is basically our anchoring to the physical body and material plane. And that's before consciousness. Mm -hmm. And the chakras that are worked upon by the healer in self-healing, in personal spiritual transformation, are simply the middle five, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm. I have to work on root chakra, but of course, if you do, you know, uh, various spiritual exercise like Tai Chi or Qigong or yoga, dervish dancing, or many things, the, the root chakra may be, you know, our physical uh, vitality may improve, or a robust condition can, can be born. Seventh chakra is really not a matter of working on either. And so, uh, what's in the middle?